Hey brother, it is 12.05 a.m. October 10th, 2016. It was October 9th when I started recording these, and I I'm gonna try and make this the last take, but yeah, game development! It I'm gonna be honest, it's been a bad week over here. Feeling a little depressed too, but let's show you what I've got. Um, let me just switch screen captures. Like, I recommended this tool to you, but you're better at it than me. Anyway, now you're probably noticing this big gray bar in the center of the screen. That is me trying to get the UI working. Um, spent forever trying to figure out how to alter the alpha of an image. Turns out the problem was I didn't actually have a sprite for the image, and so I could alter it in the inspector, but that was why I was having so much trouble in the scripts. Anyway, the reason there's a big gray bar here is, like I said before, I'm going to try and work on the guard attack. And for that, I need some indicator of the player's health, because I don't want them to be killed in one hit from the guard. And I also don't want the series of hearts or a number or a health bar. I don't think that really fits with this game. But yeah, the idea is the guard will see the player rush for towards them with a taser, and then, if the player doesn't get out of their way, they'll smack them, or zap them, and they'll lose some health, the screen will get a bit darker, and then if they don't get away, if the guard continues to hit them, it'll fade completely to black, and the player will either respawn in an unrestricted area, respawn in some sort of holding area, like, we'll see how that goes, or die. Probably not die because I don't want this game to be too punishing, and well, I'm not sure I'll have a save system in the game since. Yeah. Oh, the other thing, and this is from last week, I've been working on sound. Not sound as in we can hear it sound, but sound as in throw an object, the guard hears it, and starts investigating. That didn't. Looked like it worked. Maybe this was thrown too far away. Anyway, um, like you throw something, there's this bubble of sound. Yeah, for the phone it's kind of small. And if your if the guard hears it, they'll investigate until they see you in an unrestricted area, or in a restricted area, or they just run out of time and decide to keep patrol patrolling. It's a little finicky. And the green bubble is only there so I can try and judge how big the sphere will be per object. Each object has its own list of attributes, and that's one of them, how loud it is. Um, and I'll remove that in the final game. But, uh, yeah. That was from last week. The UI thing along with player health, which is in a script, so I can't really show you much, and what I could show you isn't very impressive. It's been a bad week. Like, I didn't get anything really done that I wanted to at the start of this week. I'd like to say next week is going to be way better, and I'm going to blow your mind I had so much more I wanted to show you. But it's been a really bad week for game development. School's been okay until this weekend. Then I got off track. But yeah. Sorry I don't have more to show you. It's... Disappointing. I know. Your videos have been great, by the way. It's been a really cool project. I, I'm i just worried that this won't be complete by the time we're done. We're already one month and ten days in, and I've got what should have taken... I don't know. If a person knew what they were doing, it would take them just a few days. For me, with learning everything, it still should have taken less time. But here I am. Should have chosen that endless runner. Sorry. I'll try and do better this week. 
I'm not promising anything since, well, last week I said it would be better and same the week before, but um, we'll see how it goes. Again, your videos have been great, and I'm sorry that things haven't been that great on my end. I'm hoping to get a hang of school, but um, we'll see how things go. See ya, brother.